An important accomplishment for a North Carolina girl. She's written a book that's been published and available to buy. But unfortunately, Elena Volmers lost her battle to cancer before the book was published. WECT's Cassie Simmons sat down with Elena's parents and the local artist who helped grant their daughter's dying wish. Uh, this is Coconut. And this is Charles. February 15th is a bittersweet date for the Hansons. It's the day their late daughter, Elena Volmer, will finally become a published author. Coconut and Charles is about um, two little um, pups and their owner, Brian. <laughs> there are different little adventures that they go on. You pretty much consider it like a year of adventures. It all started when Elena got sick last spring. We found out that there were less than 100 people in the United States that actually have this rare brain cancer. It's called leomatosis cerebri. Only 25% of patients survive a year after diagnosis, and even fewer survive more than five years. Oh, I screamed. He was very straight up with me and uh, told me that my daughter was going to die. That was one of the roughest days of my life. It wasn't long after Elena left the hospital that she started crossing things off her bucket list. We were like, okay, we're going to do whatever we can to make all these things happen, and they all happened. The Make-A-Wish Foundation helped Elena's family through the publishing process, compiling all the stories she wrote as a child and finding an artist to put on the final touches. It's one of the most uh, honored like jobs as an artist that I've had, but it's also real bittersweet to like celebrate. Grayson Davis, an artist based in Wilmington who also goes by Haji P, brought Elena's characters to life. And she knew exactly what she wanted. So I just, I followed the recipe. Like, so everything that's on this paper, it's because she gave a detailed, like, description of how she wanted the characters to look. Her vision was that Her she wanted, thing. she wanted all the people in this book yeah. to be stick figures. <laughs> And we couldn't figure out how to do that, but <laughs> oh, he pulled it off. Haji pulled it off. He pulled it off great. Elena died just three days after her 16th birthday in July. We actually got a rough copy of the book just, the just prior to her passing, and we made sure she saw that. But she never got to see the book in its entirety as it is printed right now. Now her parents will get to carry a piece of Elena with them forever. And at the end of the day, they all play fetch and ball. It's a very short chapter. <laughs> and remember that although Elena may no longer be with them, this chapter of her life will live on. Coconut and Charles, Elena's book officially goes on sale Wednesday, although you can pre-order a copy if you're interested now. Part of the profits will go to the Elena Volmer Foundation, a cure to find the disease that actually took her life.